think I've got it. Let me get situated here. This is one of my first times for going live here on YouTube. I, don't wanna, I guess I have to do it in landscape instead of up and down like I do over on Facebook. So, my name is Terry Burton, and I have a business called The Robin's Nest Painting, and that is what my name is over on Facebook. So, I have a great friend, Melissa, who is helping me get my YouTube channel started, and what I'm going to do today is I am getting a project ready because I have a membership group. I have two of them. One is a Painting of the Month Club, which is one tutorial a month, and the other is my full full out um, painting for profits which meets every week for different projects so i'm going to get started i've already got my colors base coated in here but i need to do some shading this has got to be the sample for what's coming up hi melissa melissa i'm trying it out i guess i have to go this way so i am just testing out my camera and the way my settings go to make sure that everything looks right. Change this around since I'm horizontal instead of vertical. Perfect. I think I'm perfectly on. Now I don't know if I can see comments while I'm on here. Can I, Melissa or not? I guess if Melissa answers yes, I'll be able to see him. If not, that's okay. Oh, yay, yay. So I'm going to gear up. And Melissa, I think the reason I could not get a good signal is because I'm out here in my building yesterday. So, or I mean, yeah. I need to go use StreamYard on my computer and not go on my phone, maybe. So anyway, I'm, I pretty much got my colors base coated in. I just want to come in here and add some shading. And so inside of my painting group, I go step by step over all of the different brush strokes to make it easier to learn if you're not a painter. And this class is going to be starting on Thursday. And I have a place where they can purchase the wood cutout. Or you could paint it on a different surface. And also they get the line drawing. So even if you don't have you don't want to purchase the wood, you can always use the line drawing to Paint it on any surface that you'd like. So I got this little carrot in here. This one's not my design, so I'm not exactly sure how the designer who painted it wanted it to look, but we're just going to do our thing to it. So I'm sure, unlike Facebook, that most people watch YouTube on a replay. So I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And my friend Melissa here, who's on here with me, she's kind of like my guru, my, my teacher. She is setting my channel up for me, and I would appreciate it if you would follow her page as well, Buckeye Girl Reese, because she is pretty amazing at what she does. Sorry, I am outside. You're going to hear the dogs bark, the birds chirp. Luckily, it's not raining or you'd hear the rain. Probably soon you'll hear the train going by. Well, 
when you're painting, this is usually the best part of it. I like the details more than I like just base coating everything in. But I've got to find a dark blue. Let me see behind me. Now the shading and the highlighting do take the most work, but it's my favorite part of painting. I just shade out each petal and then once that dries we'll go back in and add some highlighting on a normal the big door hanger this is just a sample size this part is cut out where the handle and I guess the sky is so I guess I'll mix some white with my blue and make make it look like the sky back there. So this is going to be really pretty hanging on a door for for Easter and since it doesn't say Easter you can actually keep it up for spring which is always nice when you can use it a little bit longer. All right, we've got a purple flower. And what I want to do is use a lighter purple to make my petals. And then we'll add in some white. And I have a little bit of con. I'd have to use a little bit of dark purple first. and put some marks in there so that I have a background. I'm not worried about staying right inside those lines. We're good. This original has etch lines in it, but I usually don't follow the etch lines. We got a lot of leaves in here. So I'm going to actually two-tone these leaves with uh, the Deco Art Desert Cactus, and then I need a darker green. I'll use forest green with it. Blend those together. And this rabbit's cheek is right there up against here. So we're going to do the leaves the same way. 
I had painted them that lighter green color just as I was um, trying to separate where everything was going to go. And then darken them up. You want to stay on the outer edges. The inside of the leaves will be a lighter color. We have all these little you you or boxwood style leaves. So I need a smaller brush. We're going to do more coats to these leaves. This will just be our base. And before we get them to far in, I actually need to shade the umbrella part, which I should have done before I came in here to the leaves. Now we'll have to wait for those to dry. Um, just work on these, this purple flower here. I'm just going to put some comma strokes in there. brown center. But before I do the brown center, I'm going to go ahead and shade this, the inside of this blue flower here, before I get paint all over my brush. center here in the middle of my flower. While we're waiting for those to dry, I'm going to go ahead and well, a smaller brush than that. Put my eyes in. The 
this will make him start coming to life once I get his eyes in there. my red and my white for a pink nose since I don't, I don't have to get any pink out. He's got a little heart nose here. Then when that dries, we'll get back in the eyes and shade those out. Have this little area here between that needs to be put in. My blue is dry. Now I can add some highlighting to that. So I'm just going to take a stiff brush and get in here. This will really make my flowers pop. You can hear how hard I'm scrubbing in there. Get that. I don't want a thick white, I just want a a little bit of white and I'm going to do the same thing here inside the center Perfect. well I got my brush good and um, prime go ahead and go in these as well Right in here between the carrot ribs. I can even get into that leaf here. center my flower. And then I want it right in the center of my umbrella. Okay. 
All right, on my leaves, I am going, actually, I'm going to pick up a little bit of white. Put my vein in here. And then take my small liner brush and put some lines in my center here. Just to give it a little bit more, um, so it's not too plain. Make some hashtags in here. And then I'm going to go around with the black, separate the center from the petals. And I want to separate the rabbit. Create an outline here. Can even add a few little lines in here. And outline it. Perfect, so that flower is totally done. I'm going to go around the petals, the outer layer of the petals here on the purple one. And also take the ear right there, make a line right across it. I'm just going to put a few little black lines here in this purple flower, not very many. And while I have this brush primed, I'm going to go ahead and go around the outline of the ear. So I had a friend who cut this out. This is not my design. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm not quite sure that I like it, but I am liking it now. I think it's going to turn out really cute. Let's get this handle as well. give an extra line just for a little bit of detail in here. And I'm going to go underneath the brown part. I am going to shade under there anyway, but I do want to 
definite line there. Now we got to do this tricky part around the eyes, right where that turns. So you have to have a really thin brush to get in there and make that eye look right. Your success on your painting depends on, an, on your eyes when you're doing things like this. of eyelashes that come out here. I don't, it doesn't have any eyelashes, but I'm gonna put a couple in here. I think he'll look cuter with eyelashes or she. Whichever one she is, he is. Let's finish out this face before we get back in the eyes. I do have a mistake there. I kind of went out of the line, but I can fix that when I'm done with the white. the white on there as well. All right, let's do these eyes because I'm really wanting to see how they turn out first. Then we'll go on to the rest. We're about done. It's just these little details that make everything look so much better. That brush was way too big, so I'm going to take a little bit of that out. I want it to curve so it looks like the pupil is round. Just like that. And he look cute now. So much cuter. All right. Well, we do have a little bit of work to the leaves, but I'm going to go ahead and finish out these stars up here. Because my favorite part of painting is the lining, doing all these little details.
I still want to get underneath all of this. I want some orange. It's, it will look so much better if I shade it. And that's going to take a little bit of time, but it in the end, it'll make it look a lot better. So you can see I'm just going to add a little bit of orange up under these leaves where I would normally have a shadow. And underneath the carrot. So pretty much, if you were looking at this from the top down, I would want to shade anything that would create a shadow. And so that obviously means I don't want to shade on top of anything. I just want to keep it here at the bottom. And that just adds even more detail, making it look even nicer here. Then right here, I'm going to have the lines for my leaves. I'm going to add a little bit of shading underneath. Oh, this one's turning out really cute. So during the painting of the month club, which every month we do a different tutorial, this is the one for March. And we'll start off, you can always watch the replays, but what I'll be doing is on like Thursday night, we do this in two separate steps. So on Thursday night, we'll base coat and that's just making sure everybody knows how to get their paint on where it's not lumpy you know it's even so we both base coat everything in and then on Saturdays is where we bring it all to life we add in all the detail and finish it out and sometimes our projects have words on them so sometimes we'll even go into a third day just to get the lettering techniques down. All right, so what I want is, I want the center of this to have more black in it. And I have very little black on my brush, but I wanna come where these leaves are coming out of the flower. I just want a little touch of black there. Because that's naturally going to be a shadow. I'm going to separate my leaves out a little bit more by adding some black going down the outer edge. And I can even add it right down the center by that white line. And I can add it to areas of this on the carrot.
So I got a little too much black on there and that's going to be really easy to take out. I can just mop out whatever I don't want. Perfect. So all these colors by adding in um, the shadows, the highlighting just keeps giving me more and more dimension, which is what I'm wanting. Because when I'm finished with a painting, I don't want to ever have to paint it again. It's, it's a one and done deal. And then what I do is I take this and I have prints made of it so that I can make more product, but I never have to paint it again. Okay, so going back in here, these leaves need one more coat of green. I'm wanting to make sure that it's nice and smooth around them. Need a little scruffy brush and a little bit of very light green. Now I want to come right in here. See, I'm lightening that center up. Let's connect our leaves with the dark green. I need my right brush here. I'm just going to drag it right along, right down the center. Yay. I could sit here if I wanted and go around every petal with the black and I probably will once I let this set because I do want to make a print of it and that means I want I really want it to be perfect outline my carrot here in a 
few extra lines just for some character to it. I'm going to just touch on this nose a little bit, make it stand out. some more white in my purple flower. Just want to touch where the top leaves would be, or the top petals, so that it looks like I have layers here. out some veins if I'd like. A few little lines right here in the center. I think I'm good with that. I think I'm very good with that. Let me do want to go around these big leaves. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. Now I get to go in. Oh, you know what? I think we could add something else. Let me get some light here. Let's make that handle look a little bit better. Well, I see I have seven people on here, but unfortunately, I do not know how to get comments to show up. I am new to YouTube. I am over on the Robin's Nest Painting on Facebook where I go live every day. And I have uh, two, of my, two of my membership groups, my selling group, all of that's over there. I'm going to go ahead and put some polka dots here. I think this will just make it even stand out more. What will happen is I will go over these black lines and that means I have to go back and redo my black lines when I'm done. But I think the polka dots will really set it off. So when I teach the class on this this week, this is my Painting of the Month Club project. It will be on a, um, I think it's two inches, or I'm sorry, two feet or 18 inches. The big one that I'm going to do. This is just my sample, so I can show the ladies what we're painting, and I can also put together a supply list for them. Really need a... Not right there. It's going to go over into my ear, but I'll have to fix it after it's dry really needed one there. And I do want some white dots here on the center of my flower. Like that. And 
and I could sit here all day and just add more and more detail, but I'm going to be done. I will be going over this later, making sure everything is perfect because like I said, it's going to be a print so that I can sell them cheaper to people. And otherwise I think it looks really good. So leave a comment in the comments below how you like it. And um, I'll be back on here. Apparently I have to go live every day in April on YouTube. So be watching for me. My, um, my boss here, Melissa, will be taking care of everything for me and letting me know what I need to do. But for my first time really live on Facebook or on YouTube, thank you guys. So you all have a fantastic day. Let, oh, now I can see comments. Uh, make it, thank you, adorable. How did I get those? Oh, and there's Donna. Hello, Donna. It is a cute project. This is my Painting of the Month Club project. So, all right, everybody. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.